Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ to all of you. In our videos always we like to expose for you the propaganda of Muslims and why we say Muslims are the number one crime for Muslims is sexual crime because they are oppressed. They are oppressed. Islam make you oppressed man, make you an animal. This is Al Arabiya TV saying this is the news. The reason for the highest of raping children in Arabian countries. A man raping 18 kids in Kuwait. We go down. All of it is about crime, by the way. Raping kids in Morocco. 52 sexual crime in Egypt alone. 52,000 sexual crime in Egypt alone. 52,000 rape in Egypt in the year 2006. And the Muslims, they are telling you that Islam will make you better. When their religion and their countries is countries of crimes. And by the way, when the Muslims report in their countries sexual crimes, this is, will not be include crimes against your wife because in Islam you can do whatever you want to your wife, you can rape her. Those are about strange women, strange women raped by strange men. Fifty thousands in Egypt alone. So if we go and we make a study about all around the Muslim world, we will find maybe 52 million being raped last year. So the Muslims talking about better life, better citizen will be happening if you convert to Islam when your country is countries of faith. The last one we can trust always. There are a bunch of liars. Their message, a message of hate and message of lie. Why America has the highest murder in a school? At malls, on freeways or whatever. And here they are saying, 12,000 murder in America every year. Listen carefully, guys. 12,000 murder in America every year. Is that made America really the highest country have murders? Absolutely, it's not true. The highest countries who have murders in the world is number one, especially for robbery and, uh, you know, like killing you and kidnapping you, etc. and kidnapping, it's Islamic world like Afghanistan, like Pakistan, like Iraq, etc. But we will stop in this number in America and we will talk about America for now. 12,000 murder in America. In the same time the one who is talking here is a Muslim and he forgot that the highest percentage of people who they are in jail in USA is Muslims. So when you count the 12,000 number did you count for us what is the percentage of Muslim crimes as part of those murders? As long you are number one customer for people who they are in jail in USA, how come you are counting the number in American when you want? You don't count it in Muslims when you want. Is it true that number one customers and the highest percentage of any ethnic group or any religion is Muslims? You Muslims are hypocrites. And you know what? We can go and we can search, every, all of you, you can go and search and see the percentage of Muslims in jail in USA. And you will be scared how it is. And they are saying, by the way, look at this. The prisoners who convert to Islam, they will become a very good citizen and they will not come back to jail. And they are talking here, if you notice, about the human rights. Do you, do you believe it? Muslims are talking about the human rights. And we will show you that according to the human, report, human rights report, human rights watch, that number one enemy for a human right is Islamic organization. All of them with no exception. Muslims are fighting for a human right? Is that right? Unbelievable how Muslims do lie. Let us see and watch together 
and we will love. Imagine what can you do to me? You can do to me, right? Let us see what we can do to you. We will expose you liars. Peace around the world, blah, 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 blah. But I think if we took the time to read Muhammad Sadiq Khan's will, we'll see the answer for our problems. Because these people have made a clear statement. If you stop, you be saved. If you don't stop, we're going to kill you. Indiscriminately. We're talking about people who like to die the way you like to live. You know what that means? For the journalists especially. Friday night, they've been working the whole week, now they're going to spend all their money on the booze. Friday night was a cough night out. What cough night they go on Friday? They go to the pubs, they go to the clubs, they drink, they vomit, they lose all their sanity. That's their life. And you love that. They're like the animals. Belhum Awal. Allah said, no, they're worse. Because animal never does that. Only Kufar do that. It's George W. Bush. And his psychic Haman, Tony Blair. And I said, La'anakullah ala Bush for Blair. Allah cursed them. That's right. Bin Laden, he offered before 7 7, by a few months. He made a statement when he offered to the European public. He never addressed the governments because when the offer of Surah, or Hudna, excuse me, when the offer of Hudna, of the truth, he offered to you, madam, non-Muslim, and you, sir, non-Muslim, offered to you, because the rest of us are Muslims, so we never support the government anyway. He offered to you, offer of truth. And did you respond, madam? Did you respond, sir? No. Therefore, you're to blame as well. People talk about 9-11. They said, 9-11, 3,000 killed. I was watching it just the other day on the news. SubhanAllah. That was a day that changed many people's lives. Especially those inside the tower. <laughs> there was one woman, a black woman who never heard in 9-11. She came out of the store. She... <laughs> I'm going to cry, it's so, it's so touching, honestly. <laughs> she came out and she said, she's covered inside, she's covered inside dust, smoke, and she goes, I was here the last time as well. That's not a lie. It's so, it's so touching, honestly. <laughs> Otherwise, who knows? What could happen? 7 7. <laughs> because I believe, and it's my, only my own view, from surveying what's happening around the Muslim world and what's taken place in the UK over the last year, I believe attacks in the UK are very likely. And I refer once again to the chief of police lands, stop supporting those type of regimes, and then maybe then, just then, as Bin Laden said in one of his statements, the offer of truth was there for all of us. If we had risen in the UK and shown that we're against the government, maybe there would have been no 7-7. <coughs> but the destiny is in your own hands. If you make the effort, I'm sure. But remember there was one Japanese or South Korean. He came to Iraq. And when he was captured by the terrorists, and we don't support terrorism, captured by the terrorists, what did he say? Did he have a stiff upper lip? Was he brave? He said, I don't want to die. <laughs> Do you remember that? It was a very heart-wrenching time. Human Rights Watch's annual world report. Um, this document, um, some 556 pages, looks at developments in um, 73 countries plus the European Union. Um, among the major challenges that we outline in the report are the ongoing crimes against humanity in Darfur, which we have all known about for too long and have done too little to stop, the um, continuing sectarian violence in Iraq, the resurgent killing in Afghanistan, Syria, Syria Egypt, and Iran, the persistent problem of terrorism, which we view as an inherent affront to the most basic human rights principle that one never attacks civilians. This is that the enemies of human rights enforcement um, 
Groups like the Organization of Islamic Conference are running circles around the European Union, enemies of human rights enforcement. Um, groups like the Organization of Islamic Conference are running circles around the European Union, that the enemies of human rights enforcement, um, groups like the Organization of Islamic Conference are running circles around the European Union. Um, the European Union is simply um, doesn't have the flexibility to keep up with, um, with these much more um, innovative and, and, and rapid reaction kinds of groups like the OIC.